Hello, and welcome to the 35th in an unknown number of podcasts. I do hope that you had as good a bank holiday weekend uh, as you could have, given the circumstances. And uh, apologies also that today's podcast is being uploaded a little later than usual. Uh, as you can see on the screen, uh, it's a photograph of my lab. I was in school today. Uh, and I snapped this photo during the lunch break. Uh, it seems very strange to see uh, my lab so empty, with the stools still up on the benches, uh, no students, uh, no lessons taking place. Um, it's a very odd thing to behold. Now, before I reveal the answers from Fun Fact Friday, um, a reminder of the government's latest message. Uh, in case you've missed the Prime Minister's uh, broadcast last night, uh, the new message is that we are to stay alert in order to control the virus so that we can save lives. On to the answers from Fun Fact Friday, uh, which you may remember had a VE Day uh, theme running through them. So a reminder of the questions are on the screen. And we start uh, with Mr. Barber's question. Bearing the words we also serve, and for gallantry, the Dickin Medal was awarded to which members of the UK Armed Forces during World War II? The answer, animals. Mr. Barber reliably informs me that to date the medal has been awarded to 32 pigeons, 18 dogs, three horses, and a ship's cat. On to Mr. Foster's question. When MI6 moved to its current building, what was found in C's old safe when his office was cleared out? Was it A, Hitler's shirt, B, Hess's trousers, or C, Himmler's jacket? The answer was B, Hess's trousers. Mr. Foster tells me that attached to the trousers was a uh, note, a handwritten note scrawled in green ink, and it said, Please analyse, because may give an idea of the state of the German textile industry. Dr. Britton's uh, question next. He said, No prizes for knowing that uh, Sir Winston Churchill was the Prime Minister on VE Day. So his question was, who was the American President on VE Day? And the answer, Harry Truman. Question four, Bletchley Park was home to GC and CS, a forerunner of GCHQ. What do the initials GC and CS and GCHQ stand for? The answer, well, GC and CS is the Government Code and Cipher School, and GCHQ is Government Communications Headquarters. And finally, a question that was taken from the GCHQ puzzle book. Gary has friends in countries all around the world, including Russia, the United States, Denmark, and Sudan. Which country is Gary in? And the answer, Gary is in Hungary, because all of those countries contain the names of his friends. So Russ in Russia, Ted in the United States, Mark in Denmark, Dan in Sudan, so Gary is found in Hungary. Those are the answers from Fun Fact Friday. Well done uh, if you got all of those correct, or even just well done for taking part and having a think about those over the bank holiday weekend. I'll be back tomorrow uh, with the next podcast, so until then, be kind, take care, and stay safe.